Madam President, Madam Director General, Honorable Ministers, Members of the Assembly, Observers, and good afternoon. I represent the nation of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Our thoughts and prayers are with the people of Manchester and the United Kingdom. On behalf of the country, I would like to congratulate Dr. Tedros on being elected the new Director General of the World Health Organization. SVG wishes all the best for a successful tenure geared at bringing about a healthier world. Madam President, Excellencies, St. Vincent Deans accepts the proposition that health is a basic human right, and we plan to do all that we could with appropriate support to ensure that our citizens enjoy the highest attainable level of health. We are in relentless pursuit of universal access to health and universal health coverage, and we seek to build a health system fit for that purpose in our country and context. This brings me to the theme of the discussion in better systems for health in the age of sustainable development. The age of sustainable development has been inaugurated. The sustainable development goals were launched with pomp and ceremony. Sustainable development goal three calls for us to ensure healthy lives and promote for all ages. Our health systems must help us achieve the sustainable development goals and more. They Systems for disease prevention and control. They must re be responsive to in-country needs and international issues. They must emphasize prevention instead of cure. We need a renewal and revival of primary health care. We are all grappling with HIV AIDS, the rising epidemic of non-communicable diseases and the intractable problem of mosquito-borne diseases. St. Vincent and the Grenadines strong progress in all these areas. I am happy that Dr. Tedros referred to a dialysis patient in his remarks to this assembly as a candidate. In St. Vincent and the Grenadines, diagnosis with, di with kidney failure is more or less a death sentence. We appeal to the international community to help us solve this difficult problem. As we seek to build better health systems, we must think human resources for health, sustainable financing for health, and information systems for health. We must seek to mitigate climate change and its impact on our health situation. We are paying attention to the emerging discussion on marijuana for medical use. We note with views expressed on this subject by the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau. Madam President, Excellencies, St. Vincent is a small island developing state with limited resources. We would like to use this forum to thank all the nations and organizations that help us in the field of healthcare. We are able to perform world-class life-saving surgeries on children because of an organization by the name of the World Pediatric Project. The European Union provided resources for the modernization of our health sector. PAHO is helping us to create what they call smart hospitals that are environmentally friendly and disaster resilient. We support strong PAHO. We are building a modern medical complex with help from the Republic of Cuba. We just received a donation of ambulances from the Republic of China on Taiwan. Taiwan has always been there for us in the true spirit of internationalist solidarity. The Thai wearing today was given to me by a Taiwanese medical missionary to our country. St. Vincent and the Grenadines stands with them at this of difficulty in accessing this assembly. It is an absurdity that ignores the reality and borders on insanity for anyone to suggest that Taiwan is a part of the People's Republic of China. What we see playing out today is the naked politics of domination control that should have no place here. St. Vincent and the Grenadines looks forward to the day when Taiwan will be able to take up its rightful place in this assembly and world affairs. I hope that we will not leave anyone behind as we forge forward with the international 
agenda in this age of sustainable development. Thank you very much.